Now let's study the LCAO model when atoms of two different types come together. Here are three energy interaction diagrams for different cases. The first case, the two atoms are identical. Two carbon atoms come together. They both have exactly the same energy. Both atomic orbitals will contribute equally to the bond. This is a perfectly covalent bond. It's nonpolar. In the second case, we have a carbon atom that brings a high energy atomic orbital and it combines with a fluorine that has a low energy atomic orbital. These unequal energies result in unequal atomic orbital sharing, and so we have a polar covalent bond. In the last case, the energies are very different. We have a high energy lithium 2s orbital combining with a very low energy fluorine orbital. The result of these very different energies results in no sharing. In other words, we have an ionic bond. Notice that the energy associated with the orbital interaction depends on how closely matched the energies of the atomic orbitals are. When the atomic orbital energies are perfectly matched, we have the largest orbital interaction energy. When the orbital energies are similar but different, as in the case of this polar covalent bond, the orbital interaction energy is smaller. And in the case where the orbital energies are very mismatched, there's almost no orbital interaction associated with the interaction of those two species. It's a purely coulombic attraction between those two, a positive and a negative charge. The stabilizing energy of interaction is offset by a destabilizing energy of interaction and if that's not occupied, it doesn't count against the molecule. The energy that's destabilizing is slightly larger than the energy associated with the stabilizing energy. These equations come from LCAO theory, and they account for the energy interaction diagrams that we see here. The upper energy is most closely associated to the atomic orbital energy that it's closest to. That would be alpha 2, the atomic orbital of the carbon atom in the case of the carbon-fluorine bond. Beta describes how strongly the carbon and the fluorine interact with one another. Beta is the energy due to sharing, and it's called the resonance energy. S describes the extent to which those orbitals overlap. Notice that in the denominator of the upper energy, we have a 1 minus S. And so this number is going to be smaller than the denominator in the E lower, which is 1 plus s. And that's the reason why the destabilizing energy is larger than the stabilizing energy. Now look at the energy of the lower level. E lower is most closely associated to the atomic orbital which it's closest to an energy. In this case, that's the energy of the fluorine atomic orbital. This last equation tells us about unequal sharing. Notice that the difference of the squares of the coefficients for an LCAO molecular orbital depends on the difference in the energies of the atomic orbitals. If these two atomic orbitals are identical in energy, their difference will be zero, and their coefficient difference will be zero as well. In other words, the two coefficients will be identical. If these two atomic orbitals have a very large difference in energy, then the LCAO coefficients will have a very large difference as well, meaning that one atomic orbital will contribute greater to that molecular orbital than the other. This series of webcasts have given you an overview of LCAO theory as it applies to bonding in organic molecules. We'll be putting this to use throughout the entire semester, especially when we make use of the WebMO calculations.